Hey guys, it's Brooke Builds here back with another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you 17 building tricks and tips. So let's get started! The first thing I'm going to say is I do apologize for the lag. I am still working on it, but it's a lot better than it was. So, the first building trick is going to be a little laptop computer. And what it actually is, is just an iron block with a item frame and a pane in it and then a pressure plate and a button and it really does look a lot like a computer and it's probably the closest you're going to get in minecraft so here is a place so you can get a really good look at it the next trick is going to be a couch now this couch is actually a c shape sort of thing with a block of your choice. Then, what you're gonna wanna do is place slabs of any color in that little C shape area, and then slabs of that same color on top. And it really does look like a couch and it has a lot of depth. So here's a look at it. The next building trick or tip I'm going to be showing you is a little sign and it actually has a block in it so it makes the sign more detailed you could say or descriptive. And <laughs> I've been iron blocking instead of birch wood, wow that's very disappointing. But anyway just keep in mind that the block will cover up if you put any words in the middle of the sign but there's a look at it and there you go. This next tri trick is very simple. It is a detector rail on top of a furnace, which makes it look like a lot like a stove. And here it is, very simple. The next trick I'm going to be showing you is how to make a very modern looking TV. So it's, a, it's really hard to get the base sometimes, so I'm just gonna demonstrate how to do it. So you're gonna want it to look like a corner kind of base and it's kind of hard to achieve sometimes, especially when you're, it's your first time doing it. And so, as you can see, I have a corner, a straight one, and then I have another corner one. And then you can just place cool blocks on top of it, and it looks like a TV. And here is a good look at the big one. The next trick I'm going to be showing you is how to make a good looking canopy bed. And this does not require any barrier blocks. So I'm going to demonstrate this one because this one is also a little complicated. Sometimes I'm also going to need this. So what, I might fast forward through a few parts in here, but I will explain them afterward. So what you're going to want to do is place a kind of square shape. And then after you're done with that, place another slab on top. Then you can put your bed in there, like so. Once you've done that, you're going to go three up with your fence. And I will show you what to do in a moment after I fast forward through this, so see you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back, so I've built up three on each of these fences, and what I've done is I've put down some blocks, one lower than the fence, and it filled the whole entire space. Now what you're gonna wanna do is place string all over those blocks. I'm sorry if the building noise is loud, but yeah. Once you've done that, you are going to place carpet on top of that string. And I will fast forward through this part as well because, sorry, I, this is getting really boring for you guys, I'm sure. So, once I'm done with that, I destroyed all the blocks underneath and it, the string actually holds up the carpet. And it looks pretty nice, so here's a little look at it. The next building trick I'm going to be showing you is how to make a sink with a faucet. You just really need a collagen filled with water and a tripwire hook. So I think you guys can figure that out, but I'm still going to give you guys a little look at it. The next one I'm going to show you guys is a toilet. Now what you're going to need to do for this, oh, sorry I have all this in my inventory, it must be fucking you. Okay, so what you're going to want to do for this is do two upside down stairs facing the opposite way with a block on top, a button, and a pressure plate. And it looks rather nice and I'm going to give you guys a side view. Next building trip, tri I keep on saying trip, I'm sorry, trick I'm going to be showing you guys is how to make a chair that you can actually sit in. And it looks really cool, especially for maps and such. So, what you're going to want to do for this is, it's kind of complicated to build, but it's definitely worth it. 
you're going to place down a block of soul sand and you're going to make a take some rails and you're going to put down a minecart and you're going to get it to go into place and see how it kind of sunk in that is exactly what you want now once you've done that you're going to place a spruce slab on either side and don't worry if you can't get it in that's normal just push the mine cart over a little bit once you've done that and by the way it is crucial that you have one on either side or else you're gonna have to do this all over again you place a piston down place a piston down and put a redstone torch and that pushes the slab into it now you're gonna take your trap doors flip them up next to it and put a door and that is your chairs that you can sit in ladies and gentlemen and here's a little shot for you guys and the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is a fridge now this is very simple to build and most people know it this trick so you're just gonna place a dispenser facing outwards a block of iron and a button and then a door you're gonna have to place it like this and then you can press the button and you can load it up with food as I have done and it'll spit out food at you and you can eat the apple num 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 so, for the next trick, I'm going to have to move to a snowy biome, so I will see you guys in a moment. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is more of a winter, Christmassy trick, but I still think it's really adorable. Maybe even if you live in a snowy biome, you might do this. So, you can actually take snow golems, and they have a little smiley face on them, but when you make them, they normally have a pumpkin on their head. And what you can actually do is take shears, and just shear their pumpkin head off, and you will reveal a smiley face. And I think it's really cute, just put in your front yard, maybe. And yeah, here's a little look at them. The next tri trick I'm going to be showing you is a dresser. Now, what you're going to do to make this is put five blocks in the back. And then you're going to put stairs on the edges just to add some depth and make it look more like a counter, almost. Then what you're going to want to do is put two blocks up and then ice in the middle. And then I put a slab on top of the ice. And it looks like a mirror and a dresser. And maybe you could get some custom heads and put like a little jewelry box or something. But I think it looks rather cute. And here you go. The next trick I'm going to show you is some little curtains for your window. So you could just make a normal window and put some banners next to it. Maybe white banners. It doesn't really matter. You could decorate them. And it just looks cute and it's a nice touch. For the next little trick, I'm going to need to turn off the brightness, <laughs> so make it night, in other words. And this is actually a carpet, and it gives off light. And that's because, as you guys may have seen earlier, it has a glowstone under it. And it's a really nice trick, so you don't have to put torches all around your house, because those look kind of ugly in my opinion. So here you go, and we're going to move on to our lamps. So these are two different styles of lamps. One is the shorter version, and it's just an end rod with chiseled quartz on it. And you could really use any color for the lampshade, but I prefer the chiseled quartz. And you could also just put an end rod on top of an end rod to make it a little higher. So here's a view, and we're going to move on to our next trick. Okay guys, so I am back, and here's a chandelier. And once again, I do apologize for the lag. It gets very laggy at the end of the video. But this is just a little chandelier, and what it is, is just some fence hanging down straight, and then some little branches off of it with end rods on top. And it looks pretty cute. I really do like it. And it looks especially good from down here. And here is a little screenshot for you, and here you guys go. We're going to move on to our next trick. So our final trick is a little trampoline for your backyard. What it is, is just some fences and then some slime blocks resting on top. And you can cover up the gross sliminess with some trap doors and you can put a ladder to get up onto your trampoline. And then the slime blocks are just covered with some carpet, just to make it look more like a trampoline. And you can see that it does not take, the carpet doesn't take away from the bounce at all. And I really do like this, I think it's fun to put in your backyard. And yeah, those are, that's our last trick. So I'm just going to scan through these for you guys so you can get a final look at all of them. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'm trying really hard to grow my YouTube channel, so if you guys would subscribe, that would be great. Or even just leave a like or a comment for opinion on this video. 
just so I could start making better videos. And I really appreciate your guys' support, and thanks for watching. Bye!